Hey guys, welcome back to the Ironstone Mine. My name's Fape, and this is the Time Shot server. Oop, oh, was too far. <laughs> I'm decked all out in gold because I fought a few mobs around here. Uh, so that's nice. At least some armor, right? Better than none. You complainers that complain about me not wearing armor. But yeah, we are going to finish the bottom layer today. At least that's a plan. I hope we can get it done. That's my goal for this episode. And as you can see, I actually worked a little bit more on this staircase. I tried to give it some support structures here with the rest of the quartz that I got. And I'm still not quite completely happy with it. But this is what we have so far. You know, that's that's the moment when I really wanted to have some carpenter slopes where I can just smooth it out like we have it going on in the dinosaur mine. It would be nice, wouldn't it? But we don't have that here, so we're gonna go with the plain old bulky blocks. Okay, so what I did here is I basically just built the pillars to support this staircase because otherwise it was just hovering in the air, which is not really realistic. So I started to build like a support structure and then I filled it in with some stone because I didn't want to make it all white. I'm not sure I might replace this with something else, but then again, you will be able to see the bottom of the stairs. So I think this is the most fitting way to do it because if I have another color here, this will still be stone brick. And I think this way at least it fits quite well together. I'm not sure about these lamps, I just put these in here for now to light up the place. Uh, I would have to put one in here too, but that would look weird, probably, maybe. Because I can't do it on the right side, you know, so the whole symmetry part is broken. Um, from the other side, it actually doesn't look as good. I have to admit it. We have, don't have a lot of space here, but I think that's okay. I think we don't need a lot of space here. Why is this three wide? Oh, this is also three wide. So it is actually not too bad. Three wide is okay. I can live with that. Um, if you look at that this way, you can see, yeah, there's no symmetry anywhere. This is five wide. Oh, Jake. Hi. Jake on the server? Wait, this is his wrong account, isn't it? What is he doing? I thought he changed his name. Oh, that's his Hypixel account, isn't it? Was it only your Hypixel account? He had two accounts, I know that. <laughs> Oh, I, I had a typo there. Ah. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> you place my high pixel on time, so I think that's a well-known fact. But um, that's why I was confused, because I know it's like uh, Jake XD. Because that's where I send the party invites usually to when we're playing in high pixel. But that's okay. That's nice, having some company on the server for once. I love that. But yeah, as you can see, no symmetry. This is five wide, this is five wide, this is three wide. Kind of messes me up. And even if I make this only three wide and this five wide, eh, it looks kind of like a cut, off, uh, a cut off corner there. Not very nice. And if I make this smaller, same story, um, we have this weird little one high line. Uh, and this way it's just a nice tr uh, triangle. So this is the best I could come up with. I wanted to put a lamp in here too, but if I have the triangle like that in front of me, I would put a lamp here naturally, but this would totally be not centered with the whole pillar thing. So I would have to put it here, which, look weird, which would look really weird. So I didn't do it. <laughs> That's what we ended up with. Not very nice, not very nice. Uh, but I think, ooh, what's going on today? Is there, is there something going on that I missed? I don't know. Uh, anyways, that's my name. Oh, mindless mining. Hmm. We interrupt this episode to record some mindless mining and we will re return to here shortly, my friends. <laughs> 
All right, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know where I was because this kind of caught me a little bit off guard. Uh, but yeah, spoiler alert. Next episode is gonna be a mindless mining episode where we actually didn't mine. Ooh, what could it be? We actually didn't spend any time in a tunnel, I think. So that's good, right? I think that's good. Um, okay, back to back on topic here. We are working on the, the bottom layer of the tower today. MK is on, on streaming right now. <laughs> we, I just watched a little bit of her stream and uh, she was writing a pic because in case you didn't notice this giant number there on the tablet, it's not the death counter, it is the distance uh, written by pigs on pigs and she was just riding on the whale ray on a pig and the pig got caught in the cactus and it died. Yeah, it was funny. I'm sorry, it was funny. <laughs> Anyways, now for real, back on topic. We were talking about this monstrosity here that I can't really fix. So I'm gonna keep it this way. I'm gonna assume that uh, I won't be back here as often anyways. So it should be okay. Um, I'm kind of curious on how it will look in the front though. Because I, as I mentioned, I want to lower these beacons into the ground. Well, I want to only keep one beacon in the first place. But I want to lower them all and I want to make this a fountain. I already started laying out the quartz and these two blocks on every side are gonna be quartz too so you wanna have like a circular shape which is gonna be a fountain eventually um, I might do that today, I might have to get rid of the beacons I kinda like to have the beacons around here and I'm gonna be very sad when they are gone but I don't think I will needing them much longer I will only keep the speed 2 beacon here um, I'm sure I mentioned that before that's the plan, guys. That's the plan. I don't think I changed anything up here. Um, I showed you this one last time. And... Oh yeah, I put a few more item frames in here, I think. Did I put them all? I might have put them in all in here. No! Top layer still missing. Uh, I was actually starting to breed some cows over at my base. Because I couldn't find any other good cow farm that I could steal from. So I stole two cows from Poe's place uh, that were just roaming around in his area, not even fenced in. And led them all the way over to my base and I'm breeding them over there. I'm not gonna show you right now because I would have to go all the way over there. But um, that's what I did. And now I'm gonna do some work. Yes indeed. Work! So here's an idea I had. How do you think about this? I just connected up these two pillars with kind of a little flower thingy. Podzole again, like I used up there. And I'm gonna put some ferns and maybe even some leaves in here. I put some lamps in the sides to light this whole thing up because it was pretty dark before I did that. Um, I think it's kind of, could be kind of neat. It will take away space from the lower layer. But I think I would be okay with exchanging some space for some nice greenery in here because I think greenery really adds a lot to this and as I mentioned I don't want just vines coming down the pillars because they would make it look really old and neglected. Much rather I prefer having these um, distinct areas for some greenery so I think it could be good. Um, I haven't tried anything out yet but I wanted to include you guys in the idea processing. So if we put like a bush back there, maybe some ferns, maybe even um, what are they called? Come on Fate! <sighs> Come on brain! Don't leave me now! Lilacs, lilacs maybe? I don't know if that that's w once again the extra color topic. Not sure about that. I also removed the most of the beacons. We only have one beacon left with speed 2. I lowered it and I have to build like a uh, bottom layer for this and then we're gonna fill it with water I kind of want to have it too deep even maybe I think it could be cool should I ah I don't want to move this beacon one layer lower even it already took a while to get it that low I had basically I took it all out and I had to completely rebuild the pyramid to get this beacon done um, so maybe just one deep huh and I'm thinking about using diorite I could use quartz but I think diorite could be kind of cool too. I have I don't have any of the blocks on me right now, but I imagine it kind of looking like quartz with a little bit of a few stones and sand on it, like sediment. You know what I mean? Like it's usually when you look into a, a fountain, um, 
wherever you go, there are either a lot of coins down there or a few stones and some sediment. And that's why I don't want to use quartz because it would look too clean, I think. Diorite might do the trick, but I of course have to try it first before I can tell for sure. And I guess it's gonna be one deep, we're gonna have water. And then the fountain is in question. I'm not sure in the my if you've seen my dinosaur mine series, I have like this one spiral staircase where I have water coming from all the way on top down the center. I like this idea, but we might be on too large of a scale here to do that here too. So I might just have a a bit of a fountain and just have the beacon beam go all the way up instead of the water. It's probably the best choice. I I don't know yet. I kind of want to try a special fountain design, but then again, we don't have a whole lot of space and there's only so much you can do with the blocks we have at hand. We can't use full blocks in the center because that will block the beacon light. So we'll have to use either fences or glass. Maybe glows, does glowstone work even? I don't even know. I don't think it does actually. Uh, but yeah, I definitely have to do some more experimenting. And uh, same goes for this. I'm gonna try it out on this one side first and if it looks good, I will transfer to this side and to the side over here too. I of course won't have it on the on the entrance because that would just be stupid. So we're gonna do that. Diagonally? Hmm. Unsure about it. Really unsure about it. If I do it diagonally, I guess we already lost this whole space behind here. Because there's no way to walk through here. So I might as well try it out. Do I have some stairs on me? Not enough. Let's see. So this would be the minimum this wide so we would need stairs coming off here boop 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 that's way bigger i'm i don't know if i want to do this i might not i kind of want to see it too how much would it can i no i can't even do that i need to go one out further I mean, we have enough space, that's not the issue. What I would like is this looking a lot bigger than this one over here. Let's try this, why not? MK is still on, so I can't sleep the night away, but it seems to be pretty peaceful here at the moment. I really, <laughs> this is one side effect of getting rid of the beacons, by the way. Um, it shocked me, actually. I came here, I tried to jump up, and I was wondering for a second, hey, why isn't working? Until my brain registered, ooh, the jump boost is gone. So I had to end up pearl up here and build like a ladder for now. It's all right, it's only temporary anyway, so we're gonna get rid of it very soon, hopefully, because this little flying platform is pretty ugly after all. But uh, everything takes its time. Oh crap, I'm down here now, aren't I? End up pearl. Hello, my friend, what are you doing? Oh, I don't even have strength anymore, so I can't one hit these guys. Where do they spawn still? On the on the stairs probably up here. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I need to find a solution for that too. Okay, let's say it would be like so. Would that be okay? Would I be okay with that? It feels all right. So I might, I might end up doing it anyways. All right, enough talking for now. Time for some work. What do you think? Simple but elegant, maybe? I don't want to go overboard and I also don't know if I really want to have water pour down that thing. Maybe I might want to try it. But um, I just tried to put a sculpture in and the spiral is always really nice looking. Of course not dirt, guys. I want to build it out of obsidian. But of course, since I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes mining every single block of obsidian up again if I don't like it, I thought I'd lay it out of dirt first. That makes it easier. Um, I want to try maybe having like two of them, but that might make it look too rectangular again. Let's try this. It might make it look a little more connected. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
Guess we'll figure it out. Eh, no. I liked it a lot better before. Okay, so I guess I can leave those here. Should I go for obsidian already? Huh? <laughs> I don't dare. I don't dare to do it. You know what would be cool? If I could control the water a little bit better. Because if I place it down like that, let's see what happens. It goes down one side. It's not too bad. It's kind of neat looking, isn't it? Like it comes around all the way. Hmm, let's get rid of it again. Let's see if it flows the same way when I get rid of all these blocks in the corners. In theory it should, because it doesn't matter what is diagonally of the water source block. But uh, we better try it out, right? We better try it out. Okay, so let's... Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on, Fabe, you can do it. Let's say we place it against this one. That ruins it. This whole water covering up in water, I mean... I wish we could just have a one wide water column. That would make things so much easier. Out of food. All these stupid problem of my mortal body <laughs> That's what you get when you play survival, okay um, Can we build kind of like a holding cell up here for the water? Hmm. Maybe use like some sort of fencing But I don't think there's anything that would go good with obsidian. Nether brick fence might work. However, I don't want to introduce the nether brick color into this whole build. I'm always worried about bringing too many colors. And what else do we have? Can use glass, but nah, not a big fan of that either. Glass paints, not much better. Lots of dirt and wood. Hmm, I could try cobblestone fences, huh? Shall we try that? Let's give it a shot. Why not? Like if we have this spiral and then... Oops. What if we had this hover up above? Uh, I'm gonna do that for now. Sorry Beacon, you'll be back online in a second. If we have it hovering like this... Where's my water source? Boop. That would give it straight down. Ah, you know, I wish we could just have the straight water column without the fences there. Wouldn't it be amazing? But there is no such thing in Minecraft. What could we do with that? I kind of like this. I just wish I could have a different texture in the cobblestone there. And nothing wooden colored. <laughs> I always think there's a creeper at the corner of my eye when I see these ferns there. I didn't have the time to get some more leaves yet, so I'm still working on that. Oh yeah, and I decided I can't do this because it's gonna be very dark. Mobs are gonna spawn and I don't want to have a lamp right here in the corner because it's too visible in my opinion. So I decided to just leave it open. Maybe build some sort of a um, Patreon monument here in these corners. We'll see. Fountain is now our trouble. Yeah, there's only fences. I could glowstone? No. Sea lanterns? No. I could just have hovering quartz there, I suppose. But I'm not sure if I would like that either. Yeah, if you guys have an idea, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if I can come up with something else for this. Or if you just in general have a good fountain design. Feel free to um, send me some screenshots if you have uh, more inspiration than I do when it comes to fountains. I mean, I have spent so many, so much time in the past uh, playing Minecraft and trying to work on fountains, and I've tried so many designs, and it is not easy. Fountains are definitely a thing that are not easy to build. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap that for obsidian. And I would say we're gonna take a look at that. And we'll decide. 
then we will decide. So, hey guys, are you ready to see the final take on our lower layer today? I think we can call it done. I mean, a few refinements might be might be still necessary, but the overall looks I'm very pleased with. So let's take a look at it. There it is. So the obsidian makes it look way better, uh, as I expected. However, yeah, we still have the cobblestone problem. Once again, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I spruce it up a little bit with a stair and a slab here and a slab only here. I think that does a lot to the whole structure of the fountain. I like it a lot how it looks um, like that. I don't know, maybe we should even go a little further up with the obsidian. I mean, we could, I suppose. But yeah, if you have ideas for fountain designs, I mentioned it before. Uh, send me your screenshots. I'll be pleased to look at them. Uh, however, the greenery parts turned out very nicely, I think. Look at that. I think I like it a lot. Um, the leaves are not as green as I thought they were because we are still in an extreme health biome. But it still looks amazing. And I also did the one back there, of course. They are all looking kind of similar. I tried to mix it up a little bit, but there's about the same ratio of leaves to ferns to grass to flower in there. <laughs> At least I tried, so I think it looks good. It definitely gives another highlight. And I don't even know if we still need another floor design in here. I mean, we have so many highlights now that we might keep the floor just the stone slabs. I think that would be okay. Maybe a little bit. Maybe I want to work a little bit on it. It's fun, right? It's fun. I can't do much anyways since I'm restricted to slabs. I could maybe implement a quartz or a stone brick pattern in there, but that's pretty much all I can do. I don't know. We'll see. Next episode. Uh, well, the, the episode. The next episode that I'm recording on my own. Um, I plan on putting in the Patreons down here on this layer. And uh, I want to do it in item frame like I want to do it uh, for the donations too. However, I think each patron should be able to choose their own item. So if you're a patron, choose an item and I'm gonna name it and put it in an item frame down here. I'm not sure where to put it yet. Uh, I'll figure something out. But make sure to let me know what item you want and I'll try my best to uh, fulfill your wishes, huh? <laughs> but I think we've done enough work for today. I'm really happy with the result. Um, we are almost done, which is amazing. This build, I'm so proud of it. And it makes me really want to get more into uh, building like uh, epic exterior building. But we need to get our base done too. So we'll see, we'll see if we go back to base soon. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave it a like. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. But until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.